Did you know your allergies could be making that ringing in your ears even worse? Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you three ways that your allergies could be making your tinnitus worse. Around 50 million Americans have chronic allergies myself included. In fact, growing up in Northern California, allergies were just a fact of life. This was followed by a move to Texas where the allergens were different, but the prevalence of allergies overall was the same, if not more. And now living in Arizona, I feel like each and every move just prompts more and more complaints of allergies. Now, there are plenty of different things that people can be allergic to. Most allergies are caused by pollen from things like trees, weeds, and grasses. But many people are allergic to the things that they find in their own home, like pet dander, dust mites, chemical fragrances, and even mold. And some allergens are just downright inescapable, such as smoke, vehicle exhaust, and pollution. If you have allergies, you probably already know what your major triggers are so that you can avoid them as best as you can. And if you can't avoid them, hopefully you found good ways to manage your symptoms like medications, holistic habits, and other remedies. But what you may notice is that when your allergies get bad, so does your tinnitus. That's why today I'm going to share the three reasons why your allergies are making your tinnitus worse. But before I do that, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, please take a second to hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. And be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you think that your allergies are contributing to your tinnitus. The first way that your allergies can impact your tinnitus is by affecting your hearing. Sinus pressure and inflammation from allergies can ultimately result in eustachian tube dysfunction. The eustachian tube connects the middle ear space to the back of your throat and helps regulate middle ear pressure. When the eustachian tube becomes blocked or swollen due to allergy-related inflammation, it can lead to feelings of fullness or pressure and ultimately result in muffled hearing. Allergies can also cause an increase in mucus production that can work its way into the eustachian tube from all of the forceful sniffing. Fluid in the middle ear space can impair the movement of the eardrum and the small bones in the middle ear space, leading to temporary fullness and reduced hearing. Each of these issues can contribute to temporary hearing loss. And hearing loss of any kind, even temporary, can cause or worsen existing tinnitus. The second way that allergies can make your tinnitus worse is by taking certain medications to try to alleviate your symptoms. Many people take anti-inflammatories to reduce some of the congestion from their allergies. However, many of the over-the-counter anti-inflammatories like aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen, and even some antihistamines are considered ototoxic. Ototoxic medications are harmful to your hearing imbalance system and can cause changes in your hearing or tinnitus, especially when taken in high doses or over a long period of time. This is especially true if they are combined with other ototoxic medications that you might be taking for other reasons, like loop diuretics and even select antidepressants. Again, this negative impact on your hearing, even if it is temporary, can cause or worsen your tinnitus. And the third way that allergies can make your tinnitus worse is by causing you stress. Allergies are extremely irritating. We all have days where we just can't seem to get our eyes to stop watering, our noses to stop dripping, or to keep ourselves from sneezing. Allergy symptoms can make you miserable, interfering with your ability to work, sleep, enjoy your day, or just relax. And it's even more stressful when your allergy medications don't really seem to help. Higher stress levels can make it difficult to unwind, manage your emotions, and even shift your attention away from your tinnitus, making it seem that much worse. Stress can also increase your heart rate and impact your sleep quality and quantity both of which can increase your tinnitus perception. But for a deeper dive on the connection between stress and tinnitus, make sure that you check out my video here that will be linked down in the description below. So what can you do to reduce your tinnitus disturbance from allergies? If you think that your tinnitus is worse due to your allergies, then you definitely need to find a better way to manage your symptoms. 
This may consist of seeing an ENT physician or allergist who can help you identify your triggers with symptom diaries and formal allergy testing, avoid known allergens using forecasts, air filters, and lifestyle changes, and use medication or even shots to better manage your symptoms. If you're able to get your allergies under control but your tinnitus is still bothering you, then I highly recommend seeking the help of a tinnitus specialist. There are a lot of things that can cause tinnitus and allergies is just one of them. A professional who specializes in tinnitus will be able to help you identify the causes of your own tinnitus and make treatment recommendations to help you get it under control. This way, even if you do get allergies that make your tinnitus worse, you'll be better equipped to handle your tinnitus symptoms so they don't ruin your day.